A super team is a team of three or more individual teams from the same league. The main objective is to let individual teams work with teams from other countries, regions and other cultures. It is our wish that through these efforts, teams will learn and excel together and possibly continue exchanges beyond this event. Participants in the super team are required to contribute on teamwork and knowledge sharing, regardless of culture, age or result in the competition. All are expected to compete, learn, have fun, and grow up. Welcome to the RoboCup Asia Pacific Gen 2021 Super Team Challenge. We are Super 502 team from Egypt and India. Our team consists of three participants, Arab, Habiba and Sanjay. We are participated in Co-Space First Steps U19 category. About team members, I am Habiba Mohammed Mohsen Ali Amber from Alexandria, Egypt. I'm 13 years old from Elmanar Language Girls School. Previous experience. I took part in I Call International Co Space Online Challenge, RoboCup Asia Pacific Japan, Minecraft Education Global Champions, I Call Challenge Hergada Egypt, Sea Perch North Africa, Scratch Olympiad Egypt, Minecraft Landmark Challenge, Kangaroo Challenge in Science. I got introduced to the LEGO Mindstorm EV3 Robotics when I was 7 years old and I have participated in more than 17 robotics competitions like WRO, FLL, FGC, RoboCup and RoboFest. And my team and I have won more than 13 awards across many different competitions and represented India in international competitions. I was introduced to robotics 3 years ago. I have participated in competitions like WRO, RoboCup and FGC. Me and my team have won four awards across competitions. I have represented India in international competitions. I am interested in electronics and programming. One part of our super team was from India. And another part from Egypt. Both of us worked together and combined our strengths to complete this super team challenge. Analysis Challenge task. Collect the double RCB as fast as possible and deposit them together. The mission can be broken into multi-tasks. Avoid wall, reach deposit, collecting double RCB, avoid traps. This is a brief flowchart of our AI algorithm. The robot moves forward. If it senses an object, then it follows the two RCB algorithm. If it senses a wall or trap, it avoids it by turning away from it. If the loaded object is equal to 6, then it follows the deposit algorithm. Strategy for picking two RCB Every time the robot picks up a block, it will set its state to something unique. In this way, the robot knows how many blocks of each color it has picked, thus picking up two RCB. This is how the flowchart looks for our two RCB program. When the color sensor senses yellow, our robot turns away from it as it is a trap zone. By this, we will not lose any points. Avoid obstacles. Right and left avoidance. When the left distance is smaller than the right distance, turn right. And when the right distance is smaller than the left distance, turn left. Front avoidance. If the front ultrasonic sensor detects a wall by 15 cm, Turn left to search for objects from all over the map. Deposit. We use coordinates, following markers and color sensors. Use coordinates to reach deposit. After collect 6 objects, the robot will search for deposit. Turn to 270 degrees when be in position X1 to 2 and position Y2. Turn to 90 degrees when be in position X2, Y0. Use markers to reach deposit. 
Follow the green marker to reach the deposit. Use left and right color sensor for wave movement. Use color sensors to reach the deposit. If sent the orange color by one color sensor, increase the speed of the opposite wave. Deposit flow chart. AI algorithm. Classification and regression trees are one implementation of decision trees. Therefore, we use the cart algorithm to support the robot movement while reaching deposit. Besides that, give the robot conditions according to special positions. So we use the bug to see which statements have the problem and solve it together to perform our strategy as well. We used the two RCB algorithm of Team India because it was very good. We also used Team Egypt's navigation and deposition algorithm as it was very efficient. By this, the overall performance of the robot became much better because it was made by the best algorithms of both the teams. Boom. Everyone. Conclusion The different cultures and language of people didn't prevent communication between us. As co space and working on the same aim brought us together to collaborate and do our best. Sharing ideas helped us solve problems in fast time, as when three brains are working, we can do anything with less effort. The ice breaking session and playing a game together made us feel more comfortable with each other. We would like to thank the organizers of the co-space for bringing us together in this wonderful challenge. We really enjoyed working together and sharing our ideas. Thank you for listening.